All right, what's up everyone, how's it going? So in today's video, we are discussing whether or not driving for Uber and Lyft is worth it, all right? This is a topic that I get asked a lot, especially in our Facebook group where we have over 30,000, uh, like almost 30,000 members. But yeah, is driving for Uber and Lyft worth it? That's what we're discussing today. Before we jump in, if you're interested in making, uh, starting a new way to make money, there's an incredible opportunity right now, right here on YouTube. You don't even need to leave the app. <laughs> you can create your own faceless YouTube channel. I have a link below, which will walk you through everything you need to know to set it up. There's a whole like hour long tutorial video. And once you click the link, there, well, there's a 30 day free trial. So make sure to do that. And that way you can watch it, join the group chat and start up your own faceless channel. I've been doing this for over five years. It was how I was able to buy my dream house in SoCal and with a big yard <laughs> and everything I wanted and actually change my life and get out of credit card debt and pay off my car and everything. Um, I just bought this car, by the way. This is not, a, this is a new to me car. It's a used Ford Escape, all right? I'm not flashy, but I bought this car in cash off Facebook. I'm all about finding a good deal, <laughs> paying 60 bucks a month in insurance. And, you know, I, I like having minimal expenses, right? So now I own my house. I don't have to pay rent anymore. I pay my mortgage. I have a big tax write off there and I own this car and I eat food. I mean, I don't really know what else I have to pay in expenses anymore. My phone bill, obviously internet, but those are all tax write offs because I set up an LLC for my business. Um, but, you know, like many of you guys, I started driving Uber and Lyft to try to make extra money, right? I was working, you know, three jobs at the time and I was or and I was just like, you know, I want to want to increase my income. I want to do this. I want to do that. I'm trying to get rich. <laughs> and you know, driving Uber and Lyft, that was kind of it was the 20th job I've had at the time. You know, I've had so many different jobs, different side hustles, different businesses, try to do this, try to do that. Try to do sales, try to do uh marketing, try to launch my own websites several websites <laughs> nothing of it works so yeah i started doing lyft i started doing uber and what i slowly realized is i was spending a lot more money like uber and doing uber and lyft was the biggest investment i ever put in to a business i was spending a lot of money on my car just to make a little bit of money and so i i think in the end i don't even know if i profited at anything and i drove lyft full-time i don't know full-time but like 40 hours a week on top of my other job so I think I had like three jobs at the time because I was working at Nike and at a middle school and I was driving Lyft like 40 hours a week. Yeah, I was so tired though. But yeah, I was, I was just trying to change my life. But luckily I stumbled upon making the Faceless YouTube channel and that really changed my life. But um, so is it is it worth it to drive for Uber and Lyft right now? Short answer, heck no. It is not worth it at all unless you are you know you're really in a pinch but then again there's so many better ways to make money right now especially with the internet guys it's crazy like if you have not tried to make money on social media i mean where are you spending your time on are you if you use social media as a consumer if you spend any time at all over the during the course of a day i'm talking like over one hour a day on instagram on facebook on tiktok youtube you are firsthand you can now like it's i would say a lot of people would argue it's a bad habit i actually think it's a habit that unlocks your mind because now you've spent so many hours consuming content now you can you subconsciously understand what kind of videos you're attracted to and so now you can kind of be on the other side and make videos that other people will be attracted to you know what i mean you're you're like it a lot of people say oh you're wasting your time scrolling on facebook facebook fakes but you're actually kind of studying in a way take that as a let's use let's do it as a positive you're studying right you're understanding like, what gets you hooked what gets you to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling um well there's something addictive about it and there's a lot of money being poured into these videos that are successful because people can put ads in front of those videos and that's how they make money. Well, again, if you want to start a faceless channel, I'll walk you through it. And that way you make videos that other people watch and then you get paid, right? 
I've made over $100,000 a year on a faceless YouTube channel. I've done it. I understand what it takes. And I've done it multiple times, year over year over year. I've done it for five, over five years. You know, it's crazy. Um, but that's just the way that social media works. And, you know, now I'm doing TikTok. I'm I'm doing TikTok shop. I'm making money on TikTok right now. And it's crazy. I'm, I make money every single day on TikTok shop. And all I do is promote products like this one. I'm actually, I actually use this one. It's a phone charger for your car. And you make a little dumb video promoting this. And you make money. Even this, this, this drink, you can make a video promoting C4 energy drink on TikTok now and make money when people buy it. And it's like, people are already using these products anyway. So I know this is kind of a quick plug, but you know, check out my programs below. There's three programs down there and they all have 30 day free trials right now. So you can literally try all three of them out or one of them. If you don't like it, you can cancel it. You know, it's all good. I understand. I had one guy reach out to me the other day. It was really nice. I forget his name, but he was like, Dylan, you know, I signed up for your program. I really liked it. I really want to do it. But he's like, I just have so much going on. I'm trying. I, he's like, I have, I'm doing like 10 different things. He's like, do you mind if I cancel it? And you can can, you can cancel it in your, when you sign up, like there's a place to cancel. But, um, he just emailed me and he was like, he was like, uh, you know, I don't want to, he's, he's like, I think I got to cancel it. And I canceled it for him. I just said, hey, you know, it's all good. Like, um, <clears throat> you know, I understand. Like, I've, I've been there. I've tried 20 businesses, 30 businesses. And I feel like that's honestly, guys, just heart to heart, friend to friend, man to man, man to sister, man to woman. <laughs> the best, the best thing, the best piece of advice I can give you guys is start 20 businesses. Literally, write down 10 different businesses you can do. 20 different businesses you can do and start trying them out start up a drop shipping store start up a but by the way i would pick things guys that cost very little to nothing to start okay that's that's an important caveat i wouldn't oh i'm gonna spend a thousand bucks here ten thousand bucks here no you're gonna go bankrupt doing that but there's so many business businesses you can do guys that require zero dollars down to start or zero dollars not even down but like zero dollars to start like you can, you can set up a Shopify drop shipping store for one, I think it's like a dollar for the first month on Shopify. And then it's like 15 bucks for the domain name and boom, you have a website and you're selling like, you're selling like coffee mugs or you're selling like t-shirts or you're selling uh, hoodies or you're selling sneakers. Like you're, you could sell, sell, start drop shipping coffee. Um, and it's like, it's crazy. The the way our internet, the way our world has changed, is like you can start a business literally in a, in a day. Like I always tell my friends like, oh yeah, I started that business on a Tuesday, on a Tuesday night. Like most of the business, businesses I start require less than $50 to start and take me a few hours to start it up. And then, cause I get an idea and I'm like, boom, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna, you know, usually what I do is I, I, I spend a few hours, I usually do them at night. <laughs> You just start at like 8, 9, 10 p.m. And boom, by midnight, the site's already launched. The next day, I'm making videos. I'm promoting it. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And guess what? A lot of times, it doesn't end up working, but you learn something in the meantime. And maybe while you're doing it, you go, oh, I want to start that business instead. I want to start this. I want to start that. Maybe it's because I have ADHD. Maybe it's because I'm bored. Maybe it's because I just have so many ideas. But one thing I've learned for myself is that the first business doesn't work. The second one doesn't work. The third one doesn't work. The fourth one doesn't work. The fifth one starts to maybe work. Okay. Oh, we're on to something here. And you know, you're starting to make a little bit of money there. And at the same time, you're starting another one, you're starting another one. And then boom, all of a sudden business number eight takes off to the moon. It's like, that's how, at least for me and at least the world of the internet, when you're able to start so many businesses so quickly, that's just, at least that's how I've been able to to become successful, and I'm still on the route. I can I'm still looking for the the like for me the faceless YouTube channel. That's been my bread and butter for five years, guys. That's got me out of credit card debt. You know, I didn't come from a wealthy family. Neither of my parents graduated college. Neither of my parents ever owned a home. Um, I grew up in a single parent household. We're living paycheck to paycheck. You know, eviction notices, food pantry, all that. 
you know, whatever. We never had money growing up. Never thought I would own a house. Started doing YouTube, started the Faceless YouTube channel, start, made multiple channels, started doing TikTok. Boom, all of a sudden I got out, I paid off my credit cards, paid off my car, I bought a house. With I think in three years of starting social media, in three years I bought a house. That was two years ago now, so now I'm on year five. What month is it now? It's June right now. Yeah, I think it's literally just around five years from when I've been doing social media full time. Because this was five years ago when I graduated college. And as when I was graduating college, that's when I, you know, started doing YouTube full time, basically. Shortly before I graduated. So, yeah, it's crazy. But this, that's just how life works. So, short answer, driving Uber and Lyft, guys. I just think there's, like long story short i think there's better opportunities i just think there's better opportunities um but at the same time driving uber and lyft it allowed me to start this channel about making money in side hustles so like for me it was part of the journey so i don't i mean i'm actually incredibly blessed and thankful that i started driving uber and lyft because for whatever reason it was it was a part of my journey of I was telling one of my friends when I when I was driving Lyft I felt like really embarrassed to drive Lyft I don't know if you guys have that experience at all but I don't know you know it's it's not the most flattering job in the world and you know I don't think any girl's gonna be super impressed I mean I don't think a lot I don't I think most good people wouldn't judge you for it but you know I wasn't going up to people and say hey yeah I'm a Lyft driver like I mean it's kind of a funny story now but like at least back then maybe it was a little bit different I just felt weird about it. Yeah, I think now I would I would kind of joke about it more. But like back then I was just embarrassed to tell anybody. And so I I really felt like I was at rock bottom because I was living at my mom's house. I was in credit card debt. I had no money in savings and I was driving Lyft and working at a middle school and Nike. And I just felt like I was drowning. And I, I, I did Uber and Lyft. And I don't know. I just, it. I feel like maybe God allowed me to hit rock bottom in a sense in order to turn my life around and I think doing Uber and Lyft was the perfect point where I was kind of at the bottom and then I started to go back up because you know I did Uber and Lyft and that's when I started listening to Dave Ramsey I cut up my credit cards and then I got a job at the Marriott I remember and then I quit Uber and Lyft to work at the Marriott because I started just working full time and I go and then I got it I did Marriott and then I did tutoring after Marriott so I was like I'm just gonna stick to that Marriott's paying me you know 600 bucks a week whatever it was 500 bucks a week was that what how much it is I don't know I can't do the math in my head 16 bucks times 40 hours a week ish but anyways so I quit Uber and Lyft and just did that. And then after that, I started the channel. It started, you know, and the channel started taking off, the YouTube channel. Then I m merged it into a faceless YouTube channel, the hybrid YouTube channel. And then I made another channel and another channel. And then boom, 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 boom. So it's like, it was all part of the journey for me. You know what I mean? So I don't regret it at all. I'm, I mean, I'm, I don't know where I would be without Uber and Lyft, but if you're doing it purely for like, I'm just gonna make money, I would really think twice about it because you don't wanna ruin your car. Like that's another thing too. It's like this car, I would hate to use this car for Uber and Lyft because I wanna use this car for five, six years. I wanna, you know, I'm, I'm paying so much, so little in insurance and like, I wanna make sure this car lasts a long time. I don't wanna be putting on 200 miles a day on this car, heck no. I wanna put on like 20 miles a day on this car, 10 miles. 30 fit uh i mean i don't know i'm trying to do the math here there's 365 days yeah i mean i'm 50 miles a day max on average some days a lot less i mean some days i only want to put on maybe 5 10 miles on my car so you know i work from home i just work on my computer so i don't really have to go anywhere but i mostly just like to take this car to the beach and that's why i got a sick freaking roof sunroof i'm so stoked that i got this sunroof guys um anyways i'm rambling at this point but sometimes i think it's good to ramble and listen to somebody else's just natural thoughts about it because it sparks more organic thoughts 
I mean, I don't I didn't prepare a whole list of why I think Uber and Lyft is, is or isn't worth it, but that just for me, and if I was talking to a buddy at the bar, or at a, I don't really go to bars actually ever, <laughs> but if I was talking to a friend at a coffee shop or a stranger and they asked me, hey, is it worth the drive for Uber and Lyft? This is probably the things I would bring up. So yeah, that's what you get. Let me know your thoughts. Again, if you're interested in the Faceless YouTube channel program right now, there's a 30 day free trial when you click the link below, guys. Take advantage of that, try it out. It's a way that I've been able to make over hundred grand a year um, on doing the Faceless YouTube channel method. I will teach you everything I know, everything, and I mean everything. Get inside my brain, I'll help you make your channel, help you pick your topic, your niche, and help you grow your page, get monetized, help you start making money. I love doing that, I've already done it for a lot of my own personal friends and family. I'm gonna help you now. <laughs> All right guys, click the link below, grab your 30 day free trial, otherwise we'll talk to you soon, bye now.